Hello and how are you? I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Today we're going to talk about Bitcoin news. And the question we want to answer is the tax man is coming. Are you ready? So we're going to look at a crypto tax tool called Zen Ledger. And what this tool will do is it goes out and it looks at all of your different hardware wallets, software wallets, and even it will connect up to exchanges. It'll pull down all of your transactions. And then once it's gathered all the transactions from all your different sources of cryptocurrency trading and cryptocurrency activity, it'll take all those transactions and formulate all of the tax reports that you need in order to file your taxes. It will even put them together in a, a friendly output way that can be uh, imported into TurboTax. And that's a format that most tax CPAs or tax people can use. And so if you're using the TurboTax software and doing your own tax return, you can import it yourself. If you're using other software programs, many of them will import TurboTax files. Um, or if you have somebody who's doing your, your uh, taxes for you, they should be able to import those files. So let's get into it. This is going to be a really important, important, important video today. So watch it from beginning to end. Be sure to watch the whole thing because if you have any cryptocurrency transactions for 2019, your tax form has a question at the beginning of it asking about whether or not you had cryptocurrency transactions. And if you don't answer that question correctly, it could even mean jail time. So it's really important this year in particular because it's the first year that question has been on the tax forms for the United States. Um, and so if you're outside of the United States, this may or may not apply. Talk to your tax people in whatever country you reside in. Um, so this is kind of a U.S. centric video today. Um, but if you are in another country, you may find this useful. I don't think Zen Ledger will work for other countries, but you can always navigate to their website because I'm going to put a link down below and you can find out directly from the Zen Ledger website whether or not your area uh, applies to their software tool, their tax, tax software tool. So let's get into it. Should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash that like button. It really makes a huge difference in terms of the way the algorithms treat our videos, such as the YouTube um, search algorithm and the Google search algorithm. So smash the like button, please. It helps us a lot. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm also not a tax advisor. This is not financial advice and this is not tax advice. This is my opinion. And I'm going to give you information that's readily available throughout the internet. This is not information f designed for any specific individual. Um, but I will share with you my opinion and my experience with Zen Ledger as a tax harvesting tool. Um, and that will help you make a decision about whether or not you should use Zen Ledger for your own taxes and for your own cryptocurrency uh, purposes. So right now, let's take a look at the Coin uh, Coin 360 and see what the entire cryptocurrency market is currently doing. As you can see, the entire market is, for the most part, in the red. Bitcoin is currently trading at six thousand eight hundred and six dollars. And right now it is April 13th, 2020. It's 6.58 a.m. Central Standard Time. And so uh, hopefully this turns around and hits 7,000, 7,500 and above. And uh, let's take a look at this. Crypto tax tips for CPAs and Bitcoin tax software anyone can use. And so uh, it does take some work. This isn't a simple software tool, but it will significantly help you out. Now, if you have ever wondered how to report cryptocurrency buys, sells, exchanges, staking rewards, or airdrops on your tax returns, you're not alone. I was clueless until I received a recommendation from world-renowned world crypto guru Tika Tawari. 
Now, Tika Tawari is also the one that I learned about Zen Ledger from, and it, it was his recommendation that strongly persuaded me to give them a, a very close, well, to a large degree, I used Zen Ledger for the first year um, that I used them because of Tika's suggestion, but since then I've continued to use them because they've worked out for me. So uh, he suggested checking out Zen Ledger if I wanted to understand Bitcoin tax filing best practices. Not being a super technical person, I was a bit overwhelmed when faced with having to figure out my crypto tax liability. I was in the same boat. I had invested in 35 different cryptocurrencies. I had hundreds of transactions out there and no clue how to put the whole bloody thing together in order to calculate my taxes uh, for the 2018 year. Now my fears quickly, quickly subsided as the Zen Ledger support team was right there with timely and clear responses to my questions. After researching out other companies, I found they blew the competition away when it comes to customer service and response times. My experience was similar. There were plenty of times when I was out there on the weekend and I found somebody on Zen Ledger online that I was able to chat with through the uh, online web browser and ask them questions and get things resolved much, much faster. I don't have experience with any of the other uh, uh, software tax tools for cryptocurrency. So the other companies may be doing just as great a job as far as having people available on weekends and evenings and all kinds of times of the day and giving quick responses. That could be possible um, because I don't have experience with anybody other than Zen Ledger. I can't, res I can't give you any kind of advice or information about their customer service and their response times. But I definitely concur with this guy's experience um, that their customer service and their response times are, are actually very, very good. After going through their tutorial, their software spit out some 25 pages, including IRS Form 8949, Scheduled and Schedule D. Given my CPA could never have figured this out, I quickly concluded that Zen Ledger was a must-have. So from my experience, when I actually did my 8949, that document or that uh, that document alone came out to more than 55 pages. Off the top of my head, I don't recall the exact number, but I think it was like 56 or 54, somewhere in that ballpark. It was a ton of pages, and there's no way I could have done it without um, without using Zen Ledger. I mean, it just it just would have taken me. It would have taken me who knows how many hours. I mean, 40 hours, 100 hours, I have no clue. Um, and I don't know if, if I ever could have gotten it done as accurately as I, I trust that Zen Ledger had actually done it. Now, I did some of my own auditing to try and make sure that Zen Ledger had calculated everything correctly. I found a few things that needed to be corrected. But once I made those corrections... Uh, I, to the best of my knowledge, it was 100% accurate, so I was very, very pleased with that. The Zen Ledger IRS crypto tax calculator showed me more than how to pay my crypto taxes. Now I rest easy because I'm following IRS crypto tax guidelines and have drastically minimized the risk for a crypto tax audit down the road. It is an underestimate to say that Zen Ledger has removed the stress from my life. For those new to Bitcoin, I have provided some brief thoughts below about this asset class. Now, I'm not going to cover everything that he talks about in here. Um, if you want to read the entire article from beginning to end, the link is in the YouTube comments. All you have to do is navigate to the YouTube, the YouTube page for this video and then scroll down into the uh, description section. Not the comments, but the description section has a link to this article. And that way you'll be able to read the rest of it. But we're going to skip here to this section. The IRS treats cryptocurrency as a property, which makes it similar to a home or to an equity investment, kind of like stocks and bonds. IRS crypto best practices dictate that each transaction, with each transaction, taxpayers must calculate the gain or the loss on conversion and report that figure on their tax return. I can't tell you how many of those were, you know, two dollars and five dollars and seven dollars in terms of capital gains, um, because of all of the different transactions I had going on. And sometimes I was only moving 
a small amount of crypto from uh, one coin into a different coin, um, you know, for a variety of different reasons. There was a year where I just had a huge, huge, well, the, the 2018 year, I just had an enormous amount of cryptocurrency trades. Taxpayers owe short or long-term capital gains on the total depending on how long the original cryptocurrency was held prior to the sale. So the how long determines whether or not you owe short or long-term capital gains. And that's another nice thing about the Zen Ledger software is it separated out the short term and the long term automatically when the tool was doing all of its calculations and preparations. Now the bottom line is that there's no need to tangle with IRS years down the road because you didn't know how to calculate your taxes owed or your crypto portfolio. Keep in mind if you have losses, Zen Ledger will show you how to claim those as well. If you're going to own Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, you may as well do it right the first time and keep the IRS from knocking on your door when you least expect it. You know, and one of the thoughts as far as knocking on your door with the IRS knocking on your door, this year is unique because all of our uh, United States 1040 tax forms have a question at the beginning of the tax form saying, did you buy or sell cryptocurrencies? And if you don't answer that question correctly, it can mean jail time because that is considered fraud by answering it incorrectly. And so uh, be sure that you read that question carefully at the beginning of your tax form and answer it truthfully because you, you don't want to risk um, going to jail or anything else like that. Plus, you'll want to make sure that you have actually calculated your cryptocurrency taxes correctly um, because if you say, yes, I did own cryptocurrency, then they're going to be expecting some sort of cryptocurrency uh, information for, uh, with your taxes. So Zen Ledger's automated process makes it easy to import your cryptocurrency tax calculations. Calculate gains and income and auto-fill out tax forms. It works with all major exchanges, crypto and fiat currencies. So this is a very, very small list of what it works with. You know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, dollars, euros, pounds, sterling, yen, and more. Um, it'll work with thousands of different Ethereum cryptocurrencies. To the best of my knowledge, it works with a the majority of the cryptocurrencies out there. So no matter what coin you have out there, you're very likely to be able to take care of it through Zen Ledger. And if they don't have it built into their software, where their software can actually automatically help you harvest that information, you can always add in anything manually. Um, so definitely the preference is not to. I have not had to enter in any uh, manual coins, I've had some situations where I had to adjust uh, different transactions because it had um, uh, had not, uh, well, I, I ran the software too many times and I had duplicates, but it was my fault that created the duplicates. So what you want to do is make sure that, that you go back through um, the software and kind of double check things to make sure that you used it correctly and got everything done right. Um, but Zen Ledger and their support team will definitely be able to help you with that. So reach out to them if you have any questions in that regard. Zen Ledger will produce profit and loss statements for you and your CPA if you use a CPA. You may be self-filing. Whether you're a miner, day trader, or holder, hodler, they pour over tax regulations and make sure you never unknowingly overpay your taxes. And that's very true. So here it covers some of the forms. This is the Zen Ledger website, and you can see the different... The, these steps up here is the process it goes through as it harvests your transactions off of the internet from your wallets, your software wallets, hardware wallets, cryptocurrency exchanges, etc., in order to get all of the all of the data it needs to calculate it. Um, and, and so it takes everything through multiple steps until it finally uh, prepares uh, forms and it prepares downloadable files. So you can download a TurboTax file. Um, you can get instructions for the Tur TurboTax uh, 
upload. You can download IRS tax forms and all kinds of other information and documents that it prepares for you to help do your cryptocurrency taxes. Um, and so here's a little chart where it compares Zen Ledger to other cryptocurrency tax tools. Not sure how updated this chart is because you may want to go out and double check some of its accuracy. Plus, there will, you will find that some of these other uh, products have features that are not listed in this chart. And those features might be really important to you. And so you may want to do a little bit of due diligence comparing uh, Zen Ledger to some of these other products. So uh, here we go. So Zen Ledger understands that everyone's comfort level and knowledge base is different. You'll be glad to know that their customer service is personal in nature. And that was my experience too. They were definitely very personal. The most overlooked benefit in my opinion, you can communicate with a real person by email, intercom, widget, or you can schedule a phone call. And, and I've done all three of these. I've communicated with them by email, uh, through a widget on their website uh, and chatted with somebody live and I've talked to people over the phone and I found that their customer service was excellent. I found that they definitely try and push you to either email or um, chatting online just so that they can handle more people more efficiently rather than taking a lot of phone calls and I was fine with that. I was able to get everything done that I needed for them, well, actually, no, I did get everything pretty much done that I needed through email and through uh, their online chat software. And so that should be sufficient. But I did call a couple of times and talk to somebody. Um, and it wasn't always because I needed it, it was more curiosity. Um, anyway, they know taxes are intimidating, confusing, and high risk. Making mistakes could mean an audit, fines, or penalties. Their team is online all day and often at night. That's true. I found them available on the weekends many times or I was doing work late into the evening and found them online. I was very surprised at how accessible I found their customer service. So to make sure you don't get stuck and to help you with anything you might need as you prepare and file your crypto tax forms. When I checked out the competition, none offered this level of support. Now, I did not check out the competition in terms of their support or their, um, you know, their customer service, uh, but I did check out some of the other competition in terms of the features and ended up feeling like they were all pretty comparable and they were all pretty comparably priced. And so because I had originally taken Tika Tawari's advice, I continued to use it since then. So additionally, the response time by Zen Ledger team is super fast compared to other services. So that's something I can't speak to because I didn't use any other services. In fact, I remember doing my taxes on Sunday in 2018 and I sent off a request and heard back from Pat Larson, the CEO of the company, within 10 minutes. So I don't think I've communicated with Pat Larson with uh, my customer service, but I did see some people online that I found in there about us stuff that were higher level, you know, management type people and and so on. So yeah, I, I in the 10 minute time frame, I definitely have had similar experiences where I was doing something on a Saturday, Sunday, or late at night and sent emails or even tried to chat with people and found them online very quickly. So you can open a free account, and that's also true. If you want, you can open up a free account, start using the tool to have it go out to your exchange accounts and your hardware, software wallets. Let it actually ac accumulate the data it needs to calculate your taxes. It will not give you your tax information until you pay for it, but at least you get an opportunity to use the tool and see probably about 70, 80% of its features uh, without getting the actual tax forms. In order to get the tax forms, you do have to pay for it. So the free account and will have access to most of the features of the software. However, to print IRS forms, you'll need to pay for it. There is a cost, which is very reasonable given the peace of mind you'll receive. It's tiered based on the number of transactions 
Once you open a free account and are ready to print your forms, you can save 20% by using a direct discount code by April 15th. And so in our comment section below, I've got an affiliate link that you can use. And if you use the affiliate link, you're going to help out my YouTube channel. Um, and so I would love it if you used it, but you know, to be honest with you, um, I would rather that you get your ca cryptocurrency taxes filed correctly and that you and your family are safe from the IRS and from their prying eyes because they can be not, they can, I, I don't, I, I can't, I'm trying to think of a adjective I can use, but I, I, I don't want to deal with them, uh, uh, auditing me and I'm sure that you don't want to have to go through an IRS audit it, it I've never had to deal with one but I've heard from friends and relatives that have had to deal with it it's not a pleasant experience so this is the Zen Ledger website if you go to if you click the link that I'm going to provide you and go to their website you can watch a uh, kind of a short video that they have that kind of goes over their tools and you can look through the different pages of the website they have done a lot of different webinars, and so when you go to like their resources, you can watch recorded webinars, you can go to their blog, um, and so on, so that you can get more information about their tools and their products, um, their pricing, CPA suite, so they have an entire section that your CPA can log into and pull down all of the tax information so that he can file your taxes if you're actually using a CPA. And so it's it's a good product. It's a really good product. Oh, here's some of the pricing. So it ranges anywhere from $69 to over $1,000, depending on what you needed. The $1,000 is more than 4,000 transactions. And so for the average person, because the $1,000 gives you unlimited transactions, most people probably are around 500 or 100 transactions depending on exactly what you're doing with cryptocurrency and so it shouldn't be too bad as far as the cost several other programs this kind of goes over uh, some of the different exchanges that you're able to use zen ledger on everything from binance dex to exodus to ledger all kinds of different software uh, exchanges and, and wallets, uh, the Trezor wallet, the Ledger wallet, uh, which are both hardware wallets. If you're keeping your cryptocurrency on an exchange, I highly recommend you learn more about a Ledger wallet or a Trezor wallet um, and, and move your cryptocurrency off of the exchanges and store them in what's called cold storage because that way you've completely taken your private keys off of the internet so that nobody can access your cryptocurrency but you. It provides a dramatic level of protection of your cryptocurrency. And so definitely consider getting uh, either a Ledger or Trezor hardware wallet or even a Keep Key. I know that they will work with the Keep Key wallets. I just don't see it listed here. Do keep in mind that this is not a complete list of all the exchanges and wallets and stuff that they they provide a, a tool to harvest your transactions from. The, the actual list is much, much longer than this list. So lots of other exchanges and so on. And so um, that pretty much completes this video. If you want more information, I'm going to have all of the links you need in the YouTube comments, so be sure to click on the YouTube channel so that you can either go and read that article in its entirety, or you can actually go to the Zen Ledger website and start doing research directly on their website. In the meantime, how can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions? Do you have any thoughts? Please leave them in the YouTube comments below. And as always, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and hodl. And do me a favor and have a fantastic day.